march the empire's on the run alex jones and the gcn radio network globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filters today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Resistance to tyrants is obedience to God. It's Alex Jones. I'm not joking. It's up on Infowars.com. It's up on PrisonPlanet.com. I realize why I come in here and rant sometimes and start preaching. I look at all this news and it, it just, it's so insane. And it's so scientifically being deployed on record that if people would just wake up and see it, it would all be over. But people have been eased in from birth into the lie, into the fraud, and it's basically all they know now. A major feminist group, which is actually anti-feminine, what they've done to women, done to men, done to the human species, have come out and said they want to ban the word bossy because it's associated with women henpecking. Well, women are supposed to be bossy with their children. They're not supposed to be bossy with their men, and they're never happy when they are bossy. But men are supposed to act like men as well, so I don't blame women. But feminist control freaks want to ban the word bossy, campaign backed by banks, oil companies, and transnational corporations. Yeah, the uh, World Bank is sponsoring South by Southwest, one of the main sponsors. And uh, they are sponsoring Bloomberg uh, and a move to ban our guns. That piece of filth came here. And that's why we're going to have a uh, open carry armed march. Uh, there's an article up on Infowars.com, in fact, that I want to get. Kit Daniels to repost. Jakari Jackson did a video report on that. Uh, we're going to be airing coming up here in a little while. 
And so uh, there's going to be an armed march, open carry, at the giant media conference that, that, that literally is a giant fraud with a bunch of ne'er-do-well, well-meaning zombies uh, wandering around buying a thousand twelve hundred dollar uh, passes uh, to line up and not even get into most of the events and then have corporations try to sell them things. It literally is the emperor's new clothes. It literally is a giant hoax run by anti-free speech, anti-gun, anti-family slobs who literally are enemies of everything good. I mean, it's just these people make me want to vomit. Anyways, excuse me. And 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 because yesterday I was thinking about doing a big report on it, and it was it was it, we were in the meeting for like an hour looking at the South by Southwest website, and it was everything was anti-human, everything was anti-family, everything was to feminize men, everything was how to be face scanned and have no privacy and how great it is. While they have Snowden on talking about how the NSA spying on us, great for Snowden, folks. I and I'm not saying I I I, but it's a fact. We had all the NSA whistleblowers on James Bamford. Um, so many others, just so many, it's hard to even bring them all up in my mind. This is all on record. It's like Snowden said the sun came up this morning. Wayne Madsen, the, I mean, he was in security at the NSA, over spying on people at the NSA to make sure they weren't spying on the government. And, I mean, he's a, he wasn't a contractor with the NSA, folks. He was there and testified to Congress and the EU and broke basically most of what we know about the NSA. We all knew they were spying illegally. We all knew they were targeting other politicians. We knew they were spying on the media. I mean, what? Look at Google. Look at Facebook. Look at Twitter. Look at Microsoft. They, they, the whole platforms are built around spying on you. While you move the mouse over the cursor or while you're spelling, it tells you where you're going. It tells you what you're thinking. It tells you what you're doing. Amazon, five years ago, had nearly 100% accuracy rate. Now they have 100% accuracy rate off of your profile and, and where your cursor goes and what you linger on in real time. It's looking at you. Everything you do has your profile, and it knows where you're going and what you're doing, and it can then... Order it before you even order it and have it going into the shipping process to be delivered to you. And I told you that five years ago, and it finally was announced this year. Because it was already in MIT papers, it was already public. I told you the reason they went to the new type of light bulb is because they can send data over power line and flicker rate it to remote control the new computers that are coming out. That was finally in mainstream news again last week. They have mainstream dinosaur press every few months to a story saying Jones claims the light bulbs are controlling you. Well, they do also in the patents say the flicker rate has the added goody of being able to mesmerize people. I mean, look at the public. Look at the IQ dropping. Look at people in a dreamlike state. The brain waves are lower. I mean, this is all fact, folks, just like the spider goats I told people about 18 years ago. And I was reading it out of a technology publication that somebody mailed me uh, before it was in CBS News, NBC News, a few years before. And people said I was a liar. And I was on air with the biotech technology magazine because I used to have listeners. They still do it. But back then it was precious because the web wasn't very big. They would send me publications. Hey, here's MIT publication. Hey, here's Stanford publication. Hey, here. It's a lot more serious. Hey, I'm an engineer at UT. Come on down. And I would be let in, to, you know. And they'd go, oh, you didn't see this, and punch a button, and it'd be hundreds of monkeys with wires in their brains with television sets brainwashing them. Uh, you know, I mean, it's just, it's just, I just, I just don't even know what to tell people anymore. I mean, we're living in a positronic psych warfare hell grid. And they know that if we wake up to it, there it is, a new use for LEDs, mind control. Here, back it out. What's that from? Is that wired? A New York Times. Boom. When was that? 2011. See, print that, actually. Print that. But see, 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 that's what I mean. I'm, I'm just trying to warn you, folks. The television is a giant LED weapon system. It's so advanced. They got a monkey farm in Bastrop, folks, that they do all sorts of testing on great apes, rhesus monkeys, the whole nine yards. And I, I, I've seen it over closed circuit television. It was punched up.
in a DARPA facility. The, the, the labs are funded by DARPA. And, and let me tell you, they're training to fuck. Oh, God, I can't handle it. I almost started cussing, excuse me. I, I just, folks, it's getting to me. And I'm realizing that it, half measures are not going to defeat this operation. They have got thousands of monkeys at facilities all over the world. They have hundreds at this facility with wires in their brains in a 40-year program. It just keeps going with flicker rates to mind control them and to test them to then deploy the weapon system against you. Of course, governments were going to do this. Of course they would use it. Of course they would do it. Anything they can do, they're going to do it. They're putting hundreds of deadly chemicals in your water. They're putting hundreds of deadly chemicals in the food chain. They're putting all sorts of different wavelengths out. And DARPA is on record in the Baltimore Sun in 1999. I read this article on air probably 25 times. I couldn't believe it. A listener actually mailed me the Baltimore newspaper. I wish somebody would go to the microfilm and dig it up. And they said, it's true, DARPA's looking at fluxing the cell towers and doing tests to just relax the public during crises. And I was holding in my hand, because they do that as a test, DARPA in the Baltimore Sun talking about mind control towers. I mean, this is the stuff of schizophrenics. I just showed you the New York Times admitting LED lights. and uh, But it's also not just the LED, it's the... Uh, the new curly Q ones. What, what do you call those? Yeah, fluorescent, I know, but they've got a certain name. The point is, those are the ones where they have the data over the power line. And then it, it can control devices in your house off its flicker rate, but also control you. And they admit it. And then the public, so weak-minded, they think I'm crazy. Because if they admit this is going on, then you're going to have to do something about it, folks. And I get it. I could go insert myself into the matrix. Hell, I already do. I already sometimes get weak and go to a friend's house and watch a football game and get bombarded with TV and manipulation and brainwashing. And I want to be able to forget the brainwashing. I want to be able to have fun and be. But I can't do it, folks, because it's constant and it's total and it's my consciousness. I will not give up my consciousness. And by the way, I'm, I'm alive. I'm very happy. It is invigorating to be in the real world and to have these pressures on you and to know how real it is. That's what consciousness is. That's what our ancestors have gone through. And I said I'd take your phone calls. We've got the Malaysia airline mystery that uh, could be one of several things that I'm going to be getting into. But i got to settle down and do that in the third hour after Dr. Stallman, top technology expert, leaves us. And uh, I said I'd take your calls on just the Ukraine situation is escalating so horribly because there's a world economic meltdown happening. And they're going to start a big war when that happens to divert off of the fact that they're behind it. <sighs> all over the, I mean, here's some drudge headlines. City adds security checkpoints to all entryways, touts nonstop fiber optic video surveillance. That's what the Google thing is about. Police block highway lanes, go car to car in search of bank robbers. Just everything's martial law, lock everything down randomly. You know, half of Boston for one guy. Beach town bans smoking on boardwalk. Lady Gaga Foundation spends more on lawyers, consultants, than on charity. Of course, all these rich people have charities to pay for their jets and everything like Bill Clinton. And it just goes on and on from that point. I mean, we're just sitting here deciphering all this news and it just goes on and on. Branson says a global warming deniers get out of our way. See, Satan tells us to get out of their way. They're the ones trying to corner our markets and control them and shut everybody off but themselves. And they're failing and losing at every level. Virgin Atlantic Airlines emitted 7.1 million metric tons of CO2. And they're only intensifying their fear mongering, saying that Genghis Khan was able to conquer all before him because of climate change. And they're now saying, you know, that, that, that we're going to be flooded even faster, even though the ice caps are getting bigger. I mean, it's just all giant criminal hoaxes. The Dems declare war on weather. Meanwhile, Google driverless cars may be environmental disaster.
It's all just mafia telling you you're guilty.